The Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the most diverse, active and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location, Champaign, Illinois. Project managers are the primary keepers and managers of the project schedules, working closely with producers, project directors, and studio leadership to ensure they are managing the project on time, to establish the quality boards and on budget, responsibilities, scheduling and prioritization, employer relations and communication, qualifications, interested, apply now. Whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there, the Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The Mosutron's Job Board is the most diverse, most active, and most established board of its kind in the video game industry, serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple, looking for a new job. Get started here. Are you a recruiter looking for talent? Post jobs here. The Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the most diverse, active and established board of its kind for the video game industry. Here is just one of the many, many positions being advertised right now. Location, Pasadena, California. Embodied is looking to add a talented and creative player. S-C-R-I-P-T-A-R-T of a growing technical team. Responsibilities include qualifications, excellent communication skills, both verbal and written, fluency in a programming language, O-Unity experience plus, O-C-R-C pound key experience plus, knowledge of version control software plus, application. Bachelor's degree are equivalent experience in computer science. Embodied is creating robots to help make the world a better place. WWW. Embodied. Me. Come join us and make an impact in people's lives. Interested? Apply now. Whether you are just starting out, looking for something new, or just seeing what's out there. The Gunnard Sutri Job Board is the place where game developers move ahead in their careers. The Mosutron's Job Board is the most diverse, most active, and most established board of its kind in the video game industry, serving companies of all sizes, from indie to triple, looking for a new job. Get started here. Are you a recruiter looking for talent? Post jobs here. Sidecasts can make or break your game. Good ones draw players further into your world. Bad ones may sell players on the entire experience. To that end, we each turn to several game writers and designers for their thoughts and recommendations on great sidecasts are games with generally strong sidecasts that every developer should study. Their responses are summarized below. But first, courtesy of FFORME of Black Eye Writer, Designer, and Obsidian Creative Director Chris Avaloni. Here are four general guidelines to evaluate everything against. The best side casts in the business are in The Witcher 3, says Deep Sea Revolution Senior Designer Brad Johnson, who did mission design on the past three Saints Row games. Their side casts are more involved from both a gameplay and a story perspective than most games. Main quests. I expected to skip through some boring dialogue and do some simple fetch quests, but each one kept drawing me in and kept my interest. There were always twists, trying to throw off expectations. This was a conscious decision by developer CD Project, which wanted a request. Even the little ones about fetching are delivering something for somebody to be memorable. Take one of the very earliest side quests as an example. In a frying pan, speak and span. The player is tasked with finding an old woman's hood covered frying pan, which she had been lent to a stranger who seemingly then nicked off with it. 
Turns out it's just inside the house she's standing outside of. And the man had had more important things to worry about than returning the pen after using the suit to making far writing letters. Such a mundane, menial task could easily be seen as beneath a great and respected hero like Gerald. But it's presented with such respect, empathy, and sincerity that you cannot help but feel warmed to Gerald the big, tough witcher who holds the simple folk of the world in the highest regard. It also subtly informs both the law of the area and the story at large, and both its goal, find a crappy old frying pan, and its rewards, baked apples and apple juice, reflect the nature of the town and its inhabitants, which is exactly what Avalone says a good side cast should do, taking away even the most ordinary, uneventful, Routine quests can be memorable and affecting. You just have to make the effort to design them so. The Witcher 3 as lead cast designer Morty used Moscovich thinks that Fallout 2 has particularly good cast designs. Tasks are simple, but open-ended. He explains, you can complete many of them in a variety of ways and and very organically. They do not seem forced. Not to involve much hand holding, if any at all. Indeed, the game is so open ended that most quests can be bypassed altogether, meaning that nearly every quest could be described as a side quest, and the player's actions have consequences, even in the more innocuous quests that can play out both over the course of their remaining journey and in the ending. Fallout 2 also cleverly works the skill system into a dialogue, with every state affecting dialogue choices and results, rather than following the common approach of only checking communication-related skills. If you invested heavily in small guns, for example, you might end up using that knowledge to impress someone, says Tom Askovich. If you know a lot about computers, you could we used that fact to reprogram a robot, etc. This use of gameplay related skills in dialogues and quests was very unique and immersive, something I come to expect from a pen paper RPG, not a video game. Taking away side quests, like main quests, benefit from an open endedness that allows for different solutions and play styles and that ideally also acknowledges all of the player, characters' relevant skills. Tomoskovich says that Fallout, Nuvida says, many of the same qualities as Fallout 2, but he adds that his approach to building quests in an open world setting is also great, he felt consequential and interesting, he explains and yet managed to overcome the difficulties of constructing complex quests in an open-world environment. It was a big inspiration for me when working on The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and its expansions. Perhaps the best side cast of the bunch involves helping some duos launch a space expedition, or helping to sabotage said expedition to complete their great journey. To a place far beyond the crow wasteland, it's a bizarre quest with an eccentric, charismatic cult leader, huge suit of mutants that can turn invisible, the leader of whom is even more eccentric than the head duel, what with him being beholden to the guidance of an antler skull on his desk, a tech genius, human who thinks has a doodle, several big choices to make, splendid sound design and it healthy does of twisted humor. It's ridiculous, but it's memorable and weighty from beginning to end, as every good cast should be, regardless of its relevance to the main plot. Side note, I have limited Fallout's presence here to two games for balance, but every entry in the series is widely recognized for excellent cast writing and design with numerous side casts worthy of study. Fallout 3, as Wasteland Survival Guide, is a great tutorial side quest. For instance, while Fallout 4 
as last voyage of the United States, as constitution, uses flavorful, stating and characterization to elevate an otherwise generic side quest to a higher level. Taking away, side quests present a great opportunity to flesh out the world building, and let the player have a supporting role in the defining moments of other characters, is, especially in an open world environment. Wasteland 3 let designer George Seitz loves it when side quests directly affect the gameplay, taking something away from the player, or temporarily giving them something new, especially if the player can gain it permanently later, often makes a side quest more memorable. He explains, a good example comes from a quest involving Chihiro, one of the player's companions in Baldur's Gate 2. The quest begins when a nobleman, who wants revenge for being exposed, as a slaver places a magical curse on Chihiro, whose stats then get progressively weakened until the curse is broken. Some designers will argue against the tactic of debuffing player characters until the quest is completed.